Hello, Larry, WD0AKX. Uh, the last couple of videos I've done have been on my Drake TR4CW, uh, doing some uh, updates and modifications and that. And um, sitting right over here, it's back in the shack, working fine. But I thought of one more thing I wanted to do, and that's replace the dial lamps with uh, modern LED equivalents. So I found some on the internet by doing some searching. It'll give it a nice blue display, uh, closer to what it used to be when it was new. Uh, right now, the displays are kind of turning more whitish color because uh, it uses white lamps, but they use uh, a kind of a filter, um, a bluish uh, filter plastic that they put in behind the displays to give them more of a greenish blue look to them. But over time, the dial lamps kind of heat up that, uh, that filter and it tends to uh, shine more white light through. The blue kind of disappears on the, on the filters a little bit. So let's take a look here. This is kind of what it looks like now. It still has kind of a greenish tint to it, but it's it's really faded over the years. It used to be uh, a little deeper green, kind of a bluish green color. And behind the meters, when you're at certain angles, more of the white light shines through. So here's what it looks like right now. So what I'm going to need to do is power it down. I'll unhook the cables from the radio. Is that there is high voltage. I don't want any high voltage in the radio when I take to remove the cover. So there's three screws on each side to remove the top cover. So this is what I found on the internet when I did my search. Uh, I'll give you the information where I got it here on uh, a link. I'll put a link down in the video description to the website where you can check this out. But uh, they do a great job with the dial lamps and they custom build each lamp to diffuse, diffuse the light in, in a way needed for the project. So there's the two replacement LED bulbs. I'll give you a close up. So there's the lamps, a close up view, each designed for uh, different use in the back of the Drake here. One for the dial lamp and one for the S meter. Now if you have other vintage equipment projects that you want to replace dial lamps in, uh, they do make lamps for, for different uh, voltages and different style radios and that. So it's worth checking out. Okay, I'm inside the radio now. And this is behind the, S or the meter panel. The way the light bulbs fit in, they snap into place with this holder. Now they're the bayonet style bulbs. So when you remove them, you have to push down a little bit and twist. And the bulb will come out. When you put, replace these, you want to make sure you push all the way down and twist back into place so the little notch uh, engages there, or it won't make good contact. And the bulb behind the dial itself, the tuning VFO dial, is on a little slide on a tab here. You just kind of wiggle that, and there's the bulb to get at it. Now it is optional. There's the blue filter right here, the plastic filter that's behind the display. So when the white lamp would shine through that, it gave it the color. But it, it, you can remove this filter and maybe let a little more light with these new LED style lights. Um, the filter isn't necessary. So I think I'm going to remove this filter and let a little more of the light shine through there. To do that, there's a screw right here on each side that uh, you have to take off to get the filter out. All right, I have my blue filter here. I remove that. And you just want to be careful and put, put this all back, the assembly, the way you take it off those two screws. And you do want to leave the white filter. There's a white filter, and you want to leave that in there in place. So, but I think uh, while I have mine apart here, I'm just going to clean it up a little. So here's my VFO dial with the filters removed. And it's just a good time to take a Q-tip here, I think, and just kind of clean up the lens a little bit while I can get at it. Okay, I got this put back together put those two screws back in, leaving the white filter in place. Well, I removed my blue filter, and this filter uh, doesn't look too bad actually, but uh, I think we'll have a nicer light with the LEDs in here. So, and that's an option also, I, mo removing this filter. You could just leave that in place if you don't want to mess with the, all the messing around to getting this apart here, but it's pretty simple to do. Okay, now I removed the old dial lamp from the socket and replaced it with 
the larger of the two LEDs, this has the diffusion um, part on it here where it diffuses the light more, whereas the meter lamp is the smaller one of the two. So you want the larger one to go behind the dial lamp, uh, the dial assembly. So you can take that and it will slide right back into place with a little pressure and a little wiggling around. Now, uh, depending on uh, where this is placed exactly here, it might your display might look a little uh, different as you move this lamp around. So you might have to play around with uh, moving it forward or backwards. I'm not sure yet. All uh, right, now I'm on the other side here, back to the meter section. So I'm going to take my smaller one and push that down in the socket and twist it till it locks into place, and should be able to snap that right back in here like that we should be set ready to try it out now on this side there is also a filter inside of this housing behind the meters and I have had this apart before and all you do is uh, remove these nuts on these screws and slide it apart but I'm just gonna leave the filter in on there I'm not gonna take this apart right now I'm gonna I think it'll work just fine the way it is so we'll give it a try here all right I hooked the power cable back up to the radio still leaving the cover off in case I have to make some adjustments but let's power it up and see what it looks like here oh yeah very nice wow look at that nice cool blue display there now I know this blue color doesn't show up well on the camera. I can see on the camera it's all distorted here, but believe me, it looks very nice and clear here looking at it um, with my own eyes. I'll back off a little ways here, but I don't know, for some reason, the blue LED lights I noticed this camera does not do a good job with, so I don't know how it looks here, but uh, in, in real life looking at it, it looks really nice. I'm impressed with it, so I'll go ahead and put the cover back on. And there we go, another successful completed project. And this project is very easy to do. So if you have a Drake uh, radio, you might be interested in replacing the dial lamps with uh, some nice cool blue looking LED type lamps.